Hi friends, welcome back. So today I'm bringing you guys another video and this is going to be a huge, huge, humongous haul video. This is a haul from Sephora, a haul from IMAX New York, a haul from everywhere that you could possibly imagine. This is where this haul is from. There's so, 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 so many things in this haul. Like I can't even begin to explain to you where it's from. So I'm not really sure how I'm going to break this down. Like I don't know what places I'm going to do first. But just know, this will be a long video. So, if you guys are down to see everything that I have purchased in the last, I guess, two, three weeks-ish, then let's do this. This is my bag. And it's actually, like, there's actually stuff in it. So, I have, like, everything separated in here. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Okay, so I guess I'll just, I'll start with whatever this is. So, I think this is... This is my Sephora. So whatever I got from the Sephora VIB Rouge sale is in this Makeup Forever bag. Wow, that's awkward. This Makeup Forever bag that I got at IMAX. A really fun fact, like a fun story to tell you guys. Pretty much everything is in this Ziploc bag also. And the reason for that is because one of the things that I got, I ordered this. So one of the things that I got was a gold eyeshadow and it broke into like a trillion zillion pieces and it got all over the place. So for that reason... It's in a Ziploc bag. And I had to put the eyeshadow in like a baby Ziploc bag to go return it. We are just gonna dig in. So the first thing that I got is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. And oh my god. Okay, okay. Um, little confession. I did order this before the sale just because like as soon as it came online I was just like... I knew that I wanted to wear it to IMATS and the sale was not until the day after IMATS or the day after I went to IMATS. So, I ordered it. And I did wear it to IMATS. And I did post a picture of my IMATS eye on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram if you're not already. My name is just at katydanger underscore. I'll leave it there. I just loved everything about this. When I saw this online, I was just like, these colors are all matte. And they are so beautiful and so pigmented and so easy to blend. I just love the way that that look came out on IMATS day. Like, I think it was so pretty. And I was just like... I really, so far, am really liking this palette. This is like the only thing out of the entire haul that I have actually used. And I really do like it. So I would recommend you guys pick it up. So the next thing that I got is, I know you guys all know what this is. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Press in Blushed Copper. Originally, I was not going to pick this up. I really, really wasn't. I love the way that the packaging looks. Like, come on, who would not die over this packaging? But... I was just not interested in it and because the reason I wasn't interested in it is because well hold on we're having issues opening it okay it is so dark like even for me this is dark so I was just like what am I gonna use this for a lot of people are saying they like it to put over their blushes and I just didn't find that as something that I would want to do like put this over my blush that just didn't seem like something that I'd be like yeah let's do that so, I still purchased it, and the reason I purchased it is because I saw Makeup by Lena, but Makeup by Lena, Makeup by Lena Baby, one of those two. You guys know who I'm talking about. Um, she's on YouTube and on Instagram, but I saw her on Instagram wearing it, and I thought it was the most beautiful glow in the universe, so I was just like, I mean, I'm getting 15% off, why not? Okay, so the next thing I got is by Laura Mercier, and this is the Loose Setting Powder in Translucent. And you can see there's like still gold all over the place. It's like on my hand now. That gold eyeshadow was not playing. I'll let you guys know what gold eyeshadow it is when we get to that area. So I just bought this. This is the one ounce, I believe. Yes, the one ounce. I just bought this because everybody and their mothers and their uncles and their cousins and their dogs were talking about it and loves it for setting their under eye concealer. And you guys know how I feel about setting my under eye concealer. So there she is. Next thing I got, I'm trying to move through this kind of fast just because there are so many things. So next thing I got is by Kevin Aquan and this is the Sensual Skin Enhancer. Mine is in the color SX05. I think I was going to get SX06, but it was sold out. I'm not really sure where, where I got that number from, but apparently that's what I'm going to get. And there's gold stuff all over it. Thanks a lot, Sephora. And this is basically just like a concealer. Wow, that is so like... I'm still going to use it, let's be real. So, this is basically just like a concealer slash highlighter. And I heard it's so, so pigmented and so creamy and blendable under your eyes. And who doesn't want that for their concealer? So, I picked this up and this is pricey. Like, pricey. You're pricey. So, the next thing I got will come as no surprise to you guys. I got some more Makeup Forever Artist eyeshadows. I mean, 
and I dropped one. This is just the little trio palette. You guys all know what this looks like. If you buy three of them and then you buy this, it comes out to $44, which makes them $14.67 each. I think. I'm a math major. Don't blame me for this. So I have gotten three of them, but then remember that gold eyeshadow I told you just like broke all over the place? One of them was the other one, so now I only have two left. And the one that broke was called Gold Nugget. I don't know what the like letter and number is, but I'll put it right here for you guys because I know most people go for that more than the name. So, I have two left to show you guys. The ones I have to show you are ME512, which I believe is like golden beige or something like that. And it just looks like this. I saw swatches of this online and I was just like, that's cute. And the other color I got is M608, which I believe is not auburn. Red brown. It's red brown. I already have auburn. And, I mean, like, that screams my name. That is just like, yes. So the next thing I got is this YSL lip gloss or gloss for lip day and this is in the color nude carrot which I have been seeing this everywhere I saw this first on Mac Daddy's Instagram and like I was just I was in awe I was just like wow that's cute then I saw this on um beauty by Rosita's YouTube I saw her using this and I was and it looked so beautiful like she applied it on camera and like it was just like bling 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 Oh, I was hoping it would smell good. It just kind of smells like plastic or something. I don't know. There is that. The next thing I got is by NARS. And this is the NARS Dual Intensity Blush. And I already have the color Jubilation, which I love. And since I love it so much, I was just like, you know what? I'm going to pick up another color. And this is the one that stood out to me the most. And after this, I don't think I'm going to pick up any, or any other colors. Because I don't think any of the other ones are kind of like screaming for Katie. But this one was, and this is the color Frenzy, and I mean, this was the main reason that it was screaming my name. The color, the Jubilation blush comes with a really, really gold highlighter and like a really, really pinky peach highlighter, and the gold one is like my favorite, obviously, so I was like, hey, that's gold too. And I do really like orange blushes. Like I said, I haven't tried this one out yet, so I don't know how this one is, but Jubilation is my bae, so. Last thing that I got is semi-boring, and this is an eyeliner by Marc Jacobs. This is a highlighter in the color blacker and I have a sample of this it was like a hundred point perk or something like that from Sephora and I adore it I adore it so much I am wearing it right now on my waterline and it is the best eyeliner that I have ever tried in my whole entire life so I just picked up the full size just because I don't know how long that little baby size is gonna last me I do like that it's a twist up and I'm just in love with this eyeliner. And then finally, I just got this Bare Minerals Brighten Contour and Highlight Kit. This was a 500 point perk. And I thought it was cute. It came with a lot of stuff. Let me see. Let's see what's in it. Let's see. We gonna see right now. Wow, I did not know this brush was gonna be so tiny. <laughs> so it comes with this brush. Mini angled face brush. I didn't know it was going to be many. I thought it was going to be normal size. And it comes with the eye brightener and well rested, which I do already own. But I mean, why not have a cute little baby one? It's, it's alright. Then I got the all over face color in clear radiance in the baby size as well. And then, what is this? All over face color in the color warmth, which I guess is like a bronzer type thing. And then I got a marvelous moxie lip gloss in the color life of the party so a lot of things came in this set so that's why i was drawn to it the most i usually don't really like the things that come in like the 500 point perks i feel like they're all like really whack and like stuff that i don't care about but this one i liked so i would suggest you guys grab that if it's still available and that's everything from sephora guys that's it that's it all right so i guess we'll we'll move on to imats now so i personally don't feel like i went super crazy at IMATS, but I know Elver definitely felt like that. I really liked my experience at IMATS. I think that if you're like looking to go, I would definitely, definitely go and definitely get your tickets early because they sell out really fast. So the first place that we went to, like we were literally, we got there at like 8 o'clock in the morning, the doors don't open until 9, and there was already a super long line. <laughs> but I told Elver before we went in, I was like, this is the plan. We're going to run to Dose of Colors. That is the first place we're going to. We're not even going to look. If we see anybody, doesn't even matter. If we see booths that like we like, or that I like, really, let's be real, then we're just going to skip it because we need to go to some Colors so I can get this. I'm so excited. This is the Terra Collection by Dose of Colors, obviously. This is a collection of three of their matte lipsticks, and they're all like exclusive colors just to this collection, and they're brand new, and they come with Brick, 
sand and stone and I'm so excited. I got Black Rose because this one is limited edition and I believe the Terra Collection is also limited edition and I know the Terra Collection is not released online yet but I believe it's going to be released very soon but Black Rose was already released and I consciously chose not to get it because I was just like I'm going to get it at IMAX no worries. So I'm very excited to use this. It looks like just like a typical vampy color but for some reason like I just had to have it. I don't do you guys feel me on that? Like, I feel like I have this color in, like, at least three other liquid lipsticks, but I need to have it. So, I also went to Velour Lashes, like I mentioned to you guys. I only got three pairs of lashes. I wanted, what did I want? Go in there. I wanted to get the Carly Lash, but those are online exclusive, so I was just like, damn. <laughs> so, I ended up picking three other pairs of lashes. I don't know what the, um... I don't know about the discount for Dose of Colors. I think it wasn't like a humongous discount. But for Velour, each lash was $20, which I think is pretty good. I think they usually go for $30 or $35, so I was happy with that. So I got three lashes, like I said. I got the Style Winging, which is like the Doll Me Ups, which I'm wearing the Doll Me Ups right now. The Winging Lash is the Doll Me Up, except they kind of flare... What is this foolishness? <laughs> they kind of flare out at the end, if you guys can see. It kind of goes more into like a cat eye shape than instead of just going like straight up like the doll me ups do. So the next pair that I got is Girl You Crazy. And why did I get these? I think I got these because was it Amanda Ensing or was it Casey Holmes? One of them is obsessed with this lash. Like this is like their favorite lash and I do love the way that it looks. And so I picked it up and this is going to be the first time for me trying this. The only lashes from Velour that I've tried up to now are the Doll Me Ups and the Lash in the City, which I love both of them. And then the final style that I got, where are you, is Wispy Sweet Nothing. We all know I got this because of Jaclyn Hill. Let's just all be honest with ourselves. We will talk about Makeup Forever. Because you know I went to Makeup Forever. <laughs> that was like my second place. I was like, Elva, we have to go to Makeup Forever. So I gave them a list of, I think it was nine of the artist eyeshadows that I wanted. And they had only three of them. <laughs> Which I'm not, I mean, you know, whatever. And they were half off, which that was a really good, really good deal. That's why, like, I wish they had all of the colors that I wanted, but I'm not mad. So, the colors that I got were M720, which I believe this is called Apricot. I'm almost certain this is called Apricot. And this is just, like, a very warm orange color, which I live for these kind of colors. And next, I got D118, which I believe is called Platinum. I'm, I hope I'm getting these names right. So this is D118 and like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and the last one I got is M660, which is called Speculus. That one I know. <laughs> and this one is kind of like a, it looks kind of like Max Uninterrupted, but just like a little bit less doo-doo colored, if that makes any sense. I feel like it has like a little more gray or some, something like that in there. It kind of looks like my skin. Wow, that's cool. I really quickly went to, was it Nigel's? No, Ricky's. Ricky's? I think I went to Ricky's. And um, I went to Ricky's to see if they had Colored Rain, which they didn't. But in any case, we did go to Ricky's and I saw that they had the LA Girl Pro Concealers. And I have been hearing everybody talk about these. I'm sure you guys know. On YouTube, people will literally not stop talking about them. So I picked up two of the colors and they were like so cheap. I think both of these were like, I don't know, $8 or something really cheap. And Ricky's had a pretty good like sale going on. They had Ben Night Banana Powder for like... 50% off or something like that. If I didn't have that humongous jug that you guys have seen me use, I would have picked one up. <laughs> so the colors that I got are Classic Ivory, which is a lighter of the two, and Nude. And I mean, I'm excited to try these out. That's all I gotta say. So the next place we went to is LA Splash. And I went to LA Splash because they have like the greatest liquid lipsticks ever. I would highly recommend LA Splash's liquid lipsticks to anybody. Anybody, anybody who wants like a good liquid lipstick, especially people who are like boycotting lime crime. I am wearing one of them today. Not the ones that I bought. I have other ones that I had previously bought. And this one is called Vindictive and like, yes. So this color that I have here is called Love Good. And this is another one of my attempts at trying to get a Kylie Jenner lip, guys. I'm gonna try. And these are so cheap. I think each one was $10 at the booth. And then I think if you buy them online, they're like $11. So it's like not bad at all. This color I have here is called Sirius, which is like a blue, uh, like a gray blue kind of color. I don't even know. The next color is Nymphadora. Ow. 
This really hurts. And this one is like a little bit more brown than Love Good. Love Good it leans a little bit more rosy. And this one is just like a hair more brown. Next color I have here is called Feline. Feline. I know this one is like um, with a collection that has like Disney names, but I don't really know who Feline is. I'm sorry. But this one is called Feline, and this one is like a deep purple that has like glitter in it. Like what? Glitter. The next color is Bellatrix. And I think this one has to do with Harry Potter. Something, something like that. I'm not really sure. And this one is like a very blue toned purple. And like what? Um, I also got the color Charmed. What is that? That looks like a band-aid. <laughs> I'm like having issues. So I also got the color Charmed and I initially didn't want this color but I saw it on Daisy Danger, which by the way, Daisy Danger and Lipstick Nick were at Morphe Brushes and I, I was just, I was, they are so gorgeous. Up, like not up close because I, I didn't go to Morphe Brushes booth, but I was at LA Splash, which was right next to Morphe Brushes, so I was just looking at them and I was just like, wow. And this one's kind of like a nude color, but it's kind of like a dusty nude. It kind of looks a little bit like, um, maybe Stone from the Dose of Colors Terra Collection. Next color I got is Esmeralda, which is like a blue tone purple with glitter in it. The other one was like a dark purple. This one's a blue tone purple, so yes. The next color I got is called Nagini. 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 And this one is a green but like the most beautiful shade of green that I have ever seen in my whole entire life. Like I will smother this all over my lips as soon as I get the chance. Like this is like a deep, this looks like Melt Blow, but it's like in a liquid lipstick version. So come on. The last color I got is a Latte Confession, which I have been told is a dupe for Lime Crimes Riot. And I did really want Lime Crimes Riot until Lime Crimes started sucking. So now I'm just kind of like, damn. But now I have this one, so I'm very excited to try this out. This is a very rosy shade, so hopefully it looks good on yours truly. The last place that we went to is, of course, Sigma. <laughs> and we didn't pick up too much from Sigma. This is my first ever, like, Sigma anything. I've never had anything from Sigma. I lied to you when I said that. I have two blushes from Sigma, but other than that, I have nothing from Sigma. So these are my first Sigma brushes. So the first brush that I got is the F35, the tapered highlighter brush. And it just looks like this. And I am so excited because I've been looking for a perfect highlighter brush for like my entire life. <laughs> and I'm hoping that this is it. And it just, I don't know, you guys ever see Jaclyn Hill like apply her highlighter? And it's just like so perfect. No matter what highlighter she uses, like that's, that's what I'm trying to get at here. The next brush that I got is the Sigma Small Tapered Blending E45. And I basically got this mostly for cut creases and let me show you it. It looks like a baby version of this one. You see that? So I basically got this for cut crease work and for uh, my lower lash line to really smudge it out because I love to do cut creases and smudge out my lower lash line. So I picked this one up. So the next one I got is the Sigma Pencil E30. And I actually don't have a pencil brush. I have one pencil brush and it's from Hair and Makeup Addiction. And so I wanted this one and so I'm very excited to smudge some things out. Next one, literally all of these are for smudging out my lower lash line. This is kind of embarrassing. <laughs> Next one I got is the Sigma Short Shader E20. And I got this for the same reason. We can all just move on for that. And the last one I got is the E15 Flat Definer and same deal. So I, they also gave me a Lip Vex Deluxe Sample in the color Hint. Which is cute because I did want to try one of the, some of their lip vexes, but I didn't want to actually purchase them, so that's what's up. Okay, so finally is my random stuff, which I just, this bag, I guess, um, school of, the School of Professional Makeup gave it to us at IMAX, so I just threw all my randoms in here. And I'll tell you where they are as I go. So, this I purchased from Macy's. Most of the things I purchased from Macy's, if I don't say where it's purchased from, it's most likely Macy's. So... This is the MAC Mineralized Volcanic Ash Exfoliator. I'm not going to take this out the box. You guys know what this looks like. Mine is running pretty low and I can't live without this. So I had to purchase a new one. I purchased a couple of Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lips, not liquid lipsticks. Well, I did that too, but lip glosses. That's what I'm talking about right now, the lip glosses. And this is a color Dainty. And I haven't used any of these, so I cannot tell you how these perform, but I can tell you that they smell so good. They smell... Like, okay, 
Anybody who lives on Long Island, tell me if they don't smell like this. <laughs> they smell like Ralph's, what's it called, cake batter. Tell me they don't smell like that. They do. And the next lip gloss I got is Undressed. Dainty is kind of like a light, milky, nude pink color. Undressed is more of just like a nude color, straight up nude, no pink in there. And this is just what it looks like for her. Next is the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss in... Don't make fun of me. People make fun of me because I don't say this the right way. <laughs> Peony. <laughs> Peony? P... Is it Peony? Something like that. So, this is pink. This one's just pink. It's way more pink than the other two that I showed. We got some liquid lipsticks here. This one is Electric Coral. And I... What? I mean, I love them. I just love them. So, this shade is just like life in a liquid lipstick form. This one is kind of like an orangey red with like some pink and like it's beautiful. The next one is Party Pink, which is just like a super bright neon pink, which I mean, I need that, obviously, come on. Another liquid lipstick, this is the color Sweet Talker, which is kind of like another coral shade, but it kind of has more pink in it than orange, so I don't know if it's like a bright pinky coral. One more, I think. I think this is the last one. This is kind of embarrassing. And this is the color Persimmon. 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 And it's just an orange. Just orange. Straight up orange. I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills number 12 brush because this is my favorite brush for my eyebrows. And Mama needed a new one. Oh wait, I lied to you when I said that was it. <laughs> I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip, lip gloss in the color Vintage. Which, who did I see this on? I think I saw this on Samantha. And like... I needed that. It's another nude color. Oh, I only got nude lip glosses. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. I got one that's not nude. So that's vintage. So I got the liquid lipstick in the color. You guys are about to hate me for like buying this milkshake. <laughs> and I got this just, I mean, obviously, this is gonna look ridiculous on my lips. Like, I can attest to that. I know that. But I'm gonna line the crap out of my lips. So I'm hoping that this will look okay. And I also got the lip gloss in the color Venom. And this. If this is not life, I don't know what is. I saw this on Amreezy and like everything that Amreezy buys and wears, I'm just, well not buys, gets. I'm just like, thank you. <laughs> so this is the only vampy color I probably would ever get in lip glosses because I hate dark lip glosses. They never look good on me. But this one I was very interested in because this one kind of looks like Sad Girl and a lip gloss and I love the color Sad Girl, as does everybody else, so. I think that's it from Macy's. Now you guys are about to know where all these things are from. <laughs> this is not even it, so sorry. So I bought a whole bunch of lashes. Um, House of Lashes was having, I believe, 20% off, and like I could not say no to that. I could not. So um, the styles I bought are, I bought three of everything, because I always do that. I don't really know why. Um, I bought Starlet. Not that I'm lacking, by the way. Hold on. Can you guys see my lash drawer right now? Oh, no, you can't see it. I'm not lacking. I have plenty. But it was 20% off. <laughs> so I bought Starlet. I bought Nor Fairies. I bought Pixie Lux. You guys all know what this looks like. I don't think I have to show you really. Just put that in there because I don't have more space. Wait, wait, there's more. I Obviously, I bought Iconics. But they're not like wrapped up cute. Whatever. And there's more. And I also bought, what is this called? Precious lower lashes because I've been getting into lower lashes lately. I am wearing a pair of lower lashes right now, but it's not precious. I believe it's Darling. I believe it's Darling. And also by a house of lashes. And I got the siren <laughs> because I actually never tried the siren before. And I do love MAC 35s, as does everybody else. So I wanted to give those a go. Oh, 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 I lied to you. Two more things from Macy's. I purchased two more brushes. And these are by MAC. And these are like the Sigma, these are the MAC versions of two of the Sigma versions that I have, oh, the two, you know. So this is the MAC 212, which I already have one that I use for my, um, under my brows for concealer, but I want to use this one under my lash line, like you guys have heard 38 times already. And this one is the MAC 219, which is a pencil brush, kind of like the Sigma E, I don't remember the number, but you heard it, you were there. And again, same deal. Last place, I promise. This is from Flutter Lashes. And they were having, I believe, a 30% off. And I was just like, God is testing my will. And I failed the test. So, 
the styles that I got, I wanted to get um, some other styles that were sold out. I wanted to get Trinity, which I think are the longest lashes they have, and like I'm all about that. And I wanted to get um, Natalie. I do have Natalie, but like I wanted a backup, but they didn't have it in stock. So, other than that, I got everything else that I wanted. So I got the style Annabelle, which I see makeup by Anna use all the time, and like. Who doesn't want to have eyelashes like makeup by Anna's I picked up the Scott Barnes for flutter lashes not because they look like I don't know why I picked these up to be honest with you I don't think that I'm gonna like them I'm gonna give them a try obviously but I don't think I'm gonna like them because they are not my typical lash they're not in your face like attacking you from across the street and like that's usually what I go for but of course I'm gonna give them a try because they were expensive and I picked up the style Lori I'm not even done after this. There's more after this, by the way, in case you thought this was over. I picked up the style Lori, which looked like this. Flutter Lashes, personally, I feel like are the best um, mink lash brand that I've ever tried. They last so long, stay intact, and they look incredible on. So I highly recommend Flutter Lashes. So the next pair of lashes I got are Kami, which I thought looked kind of like Trinity, because they are kind of that long fun thing going on but I think they're a little bit shorter and these actually kind of have like layers to them and I think that's really cute so I can't wait to wear those lashes I'm like I'm a lash fiend I love lashes lashes are probably like my number one thing in makeup number one number two something like that <laughs> I picked up the style page which you guys know I already have this style and I am obsessed with this style and the style that I actually wore to IMAX was the style Camilla and I love that one. I wish I had a backup of that one. But, I mean, they last so long. Oh, the box. <laughs> but, I mean, they last so long, I probably won't need one. But this is style page. You guys know I have one. Love it. And the last style I got is Judy. Which I've seen a lot of people wear Judy as well. And it just looks like this. I, I don't feel like Judy's anything crazy. Anything uh, It's nice. Yeah. And finally, the last thing is this lipstick by MAC. <laughs> Mad random. I don't know. But this lipstick was calling my name forever. Like when I knew this came, this is from the uh, Mac is Beauty collection, and when I found out that this collection was coming out, this was all I was interested in 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 the collection because this came out in a previous collection and I wasn't able to get it. And this is the color, real sexy, and like I'm so happy he's on. Like come on, I I have wanted this since the real sexy collection, and I'm so happy I finally got it. I literally cared about nothing else in the Mac is Beauty collection just this so that is it for my haul i'm saying it like it was so tiny but no it, it was no it wasn't and this was kind of all over the place but i told you guys there was a lot of stuff i didn't know how i was gonna get through it i didn't know how i was gonna start it i didn't know how anything was gonna go down so it's not my fault i warned you but anyways yeah that's it i'm tired i'm hot that's it thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed this video I love watching hauls, so that's why i was like really excited to get this one up for you guys i hope i can edit it and get it up by like tomorrow I hope. Hopefully. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. My name is just at katydanger underscore. It's going to be right here, right here, right here. Jazz hands right here. And in the description box, as well as everything that I am wearing on my face and links to previous videos and all of that, anything you could think of, it'll be down there. That's it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh wait, before you go, I have to show you guys my shirt. I'm obsessed with this shirt. This shirt is going to be like in my monthly favorites, no joke. So it's a shirt, excuse my largeness. It says, I can't keep calm. Uh, how am I going to show you the rest? God damn. <laughs> I didn't think of this. Well, the bottom says I'm getting married. Hold on, here we go. Ugh. Because I am. <laughs>